Okay, so in this video, I'll finally get to the definition of what a topology is. It's been a long time coming, and so let's just get right into it. So a topology really is kind of, you have, a, it's essentially a combination of a set and a collection of subsets. So it's simply written like this, you know, you have, you know, order, kind of like ordered pair, where you have X as your set, and C, or tau, is your family of subsets. And I wrote it over here, so we, you know, we won't forget what's going on. And there are certain conditions that have to be met in order for something to be classified as a topology. And they are, if the empty set and the total set are included in tau, so for the real numbers, this makes sense. You know, we can, the empty set is obviously in the reals, and the entire set of the reals is also a subset of the reals. So that's kind of, you know, that's a very important property to have. So the empty set and the total set are included in the family of subsets. That ha that's, a, that's a property for, um, that's, it's a necessary property of a topology. Also, if you have an inner, a union of A and B, and you get a set C, that, that new set is also included in, in, um, in, the, in the family of subsets. And actually, anytime you take a, a, uh, even an uh, infinite union, anytime you take a union of any uh, collection of subsets, that union is also included in, 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 in tau. That's an important property. And also, it's closed under finite intersections. It's important to note because for not, there are some cases where if you take an infinite intersection, the result, we will not be dealing with topological space. So it's important to note that for unions, they can be infinite. Actually, I'll write the whole thing out. I'll say closed under union, and it can be infinite, it can be infinite, so okay, I'll, just, I'll put infinite here, it can be infinite, but for, but for intersection, it's only closed under finite intersection, that's the condition, closed under finite intersections, and I'll be getting to examples of that um, in later videos, but that's just, let's just, you know, let's just start with the basic definition, and of course, the best way to really, you know, get this idea um, in our heads is to do an example, and so let's get right to that. Suppose our set X is, you know, 2 and 3, and our collection of subsets is, you know, the empty set 2, 3, and 2, and 3. And we want to check to see if this is a topology. Well, let's just go through the axioms. Is the empty set inside, inside here? And we see here the empty set's right here, so that, that first condition's met. Is the total set in, in, in this family of subsets? Where our set here is 2 and 3, so we need to look for this set inside of here, and look, there it is. So uh, axiom one or condition one is satisfied. Now, for any two, uh, for, for any two, um, well, really sets, subsets inside of here is a union of them also inside of tau. Well, let's see. Let's take. Let's suppose we took the union of the empty set and two. Of course, the union of that would just be two, and that's of course in there. And of course, the union of the empty set with any set here will just be that that set. So you know, for three and two and three, that's you know, it's, it's kind of trivial to show that. Just a basic set theory concept. So that's, that's there. Now, what if we decided to take the union of 2 and 3? And, of course, you know, again, this is just set theory. So uh, we're going to get 2 and 3. And that, of course, is present. So, and, and you can, of course, and, of course, two, union of 2 and 3 with 3 is just going to be 2 and 3. Um, and, you know, and for 2. So that's, it's kind of, you know, no, that's not too exciting. So we can see here that for any, any, uh, a set here, any subset in here, the union of those two subsets will also be inside this uh, larger set, the tau, this family of subsets. And then what about intersection? This is important because, again, if something, it, it fails, it's apologies, something can fail to be topology, uh, a lot of times it's because the intersection doesn't hold. It's, you know, happens uh, uh, pretty often. So let's just, let's just check that. So let's suppose we have the intersection of 2 and 3. And again, so that's not always trivial, but well, in this case it is, but not always. So the intersection is obviously the empty set, which you know, of course, is there. And um, obviously, you can change the order of this, and we'll get the same thing. And the intersection of two and three, if we had, you know, the set two, three, I would take the intersection of that with three. We're just going to get uh, three, and that's there. And you can do the same thing with two. And so we can see now that all our conditions for topology have been satisfied. And that really is all it boils down to. And when, when you, and really, in all the higher math, and, and whether you're dealing with the group theory, ring theory, field theory, topology, um, you know, any other construct, we pretty much always deal with sets. And they're essentially, they're just different takes on the same idea, where we have, we have a set and it has some property and, we have, and some axioms. And we basically have to check to see if those axioms hold. And for topology, you know, these are our axioms. And they hold, so we can say it's a topological space. And whenever, anytime you want to check and say something in the topological space, it's really just, it always boils, boils down to th these three um, axioms. This is the definition. So if you ever get stuck on whether or not something is a topology, just always go back to this, because that's really the definition. And so um, the next video, I'll start talking about um, 
uh, I'll extend the concept of open balls to open sets, because open sets and closed sets are a very important concept in topology, and um, that's when things start to get a little bit more exciting than they have been uh, so far. Uh, anyway, so that'll be the concept of the next video, so I'll see you guys then.